Hey guys, it's Lane here with Hobbies and Man. Once again, today we're going to be doing another manga for Suppressors Review. Today we're looking at Living Stone, Volume 1. Here, I'll show you on this side. There's a lot of sun coming in. Um, and it's by Tomohiro Maikawa, Maikawa and uh, Jinsei Takaoka. And uh, I think Jinsei Takaoka is the guy that did uh, Dead Man Wonderland. I'm not really sure, honestly, but it does say that right there. And uh, the publisher is Kadansha. You guys can see on the side right there. I bought this used at uh, Half Price Books and it was really cheap. I think it was like uh, five bucks, less than five bucks. Uh, and um, it's a seinen. It's uh, a supernatural title. And I would actually qualify it as a drama title as well, just because it does have uh, elements that uh, to me feel more dramatic than they feel like anything else. Uh, but it's not a psychological thriller or you know anything like that. It is purely just like a supernatural kind of aspect. And it does not have an adaptation. It was a four volume story. I don't think it really got the hype uh, that it needed, but I, I think it could make a pretty good movie based on on that first bit that I read there. So, so we follow this guy, Sakurai, and his partner, Amano. And Sakurai is a normal human, uh, and Amano is a nebulous concept. He is not really a person uh, but he's not really not a person. It's hard to explain. Basically, in this world, everyone has a cyclolith, a soul stone, and Amano is a group is, is from a group of people that don't have soul stones. They have something else, which is more like a soul magnet, if that makes sense. Which technically would still be a, a, a stone, but it'd be like an electrically charged one. So the analogy doesn't really work, but you know, they are different. They're not really a person. Um, their psychology is different from a human's. And uh, they're agents of this group called the Livingstone. And so Sakurai is a, uh, basically he's an office man and he dresses like one, he acts like one. He's quite, quite uptight. Uh, where Amano is more of a teenager and he's uh, kind of loose and free. And he's very blunt because he is not a person. So he doesn't really have tact and empathy he is very direct and uh cutting and skating uh, so yeah and they go along uh, kind of trying to help people and more specifically trying to keep souls healthy uh and, and and by doing that they end up helping people but their their goal isn't to help people their goal is to make sure souls continue to grow basically souls have a lifespan of five thousand years and uh souls grow when the people that they're attached to follow their life plans and manage to continue their life and the uh, the things that are set out for them, the predetermined situations that are, that are supposed to be for them, right? And so they go through and they try to find people that need help in, in the sense that there's people that are trying to commit suicide or people that have gone away or that have already died. And when you die before your time, your soul stone breaks. And so they go and clean the breakage and they fix it and they try to repair it so that they, the, the soul can continue to grow. And in the case where they find people that are committing suicide, they give them two options. Do you wanna live or do you wanna die? They check that their uh, soul path has been followed and if it hasn't, and uh, the, the person wants to, uh, to you know end it all, um, they facilitate that in a kind of a spiritual way. And if not, they force something different. They, they change the situation. And it's really, really interesting. Um, it's it's it might not be for everyone because there's a certain level of of callousness to to life uh, that Amano shows as a character, but there's also this kind of I don't know like interesting like aspect to it, which is like your soul is what's important, and you know to me it's all fantasy. I don't really care either way, um, but some people might be you know affected by 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 stuff like that. Uh, either because of their religious beliefs or because of how they feel about life and death and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. It was pretty interesting to me. I quite liked it. I thought it was cool. It was a very interesting premise. Um, but the characters are really not my favorite. I don't really like either of them. And I don't really hate them either. It's kind of pretty mild. Uh, it's only a four volume series, so I probably will finish collecting it. But I don't think I'm going to collect it anytime soon. This is definitely one of those series where I'll keep the volume that I have indefinitely. And I'll try to find the rest of the volumes out in the wild for cheaper than cover price. And if I manage to collect it, good. And if I don't, that's also fine as well. Like, I don't really have a, a problem with it. 
um, nor do I really have a strong desire to force myself to collect it or to force myself to find books of this to collect, if that makes sense. Um, it, it might be a weird way of collecting, I don't know, uh, but that's just kind of how I go about it. Um, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know if you've read this and if you like it and uh, you know how you feel about it. And thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.